Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series with AnubhavTrainings.com. In my previous session, one of the students have asked me Anubhav, as a BTP developer, what are the tools which I have in my bucket in order to do a end-to-end -end development of BTP applications? So today we are going to discuss about what are the important tools as a developer which you can use as a day-to-day life of a developer in order to build a end-to-end -end BTP application. So recently we had built an application which utilizes the Java Spring Framework and connect to SAP HANA Cloud in SAP BTP environment. In order to build that application, we had used some tools at design time. In order to also deploy the application, we have used the deployment tool, the so-called CLI. So I will show you in a brief what are the tools as a developer and what is the life cycle typically you use as a developer for PTP applications. So this will be a pure whiteboard presentation today. Let's get started. So what is the design time and what is the runtime? So meet Prasad. Who is Prasad? He is a BTP developer like you, like you all. Yeah. He is a D BTP developer. What Prasad does? Prasad was asked by his manager to build an application. So which tool Prasad use? Prasad have two tools in his bucket to do BTP development. In fact, three different tools Prasad will use. The first tool he use is VS Code. This tool was used to build Java code and use Spring framework to build Spring JPA based application. The second tool he has is HANA Database Explorer. Through this tool, he was able to explore his HANA database schemas inside and check if tables are created or not when he deploy the application. Third tool is BTP Cockpit, where he created the HANA DB instance fresh HANA database instance. He then uh, used the BTP cockpit to also create a backing service instance, manage backing services and the instances like a HANA schema was created. To check his HANA schema, he has to connect using HANA Explorer tool. Yes, these are the three tools he has in his bucket to do the designing of application. That's called design time. Is all through the process he was designing his application. He was building the application. That's called design time. Now, in order to make this application live, he need to deploy this application in the BTP, in the cloud. Yes. So then he has another tool in his bucket, which is Cloud Foundry CLI. So what it does? It does a CF push command. That's what does the deployment. This is called deployment. You are sending your application in BTP in the cloud. In the cloud, what happens? The cloud controller comes into picture, the Diago core, the cells, the container gets created. So here we have the schema, which is the backing service. For this, a service key got created at runtime and his application runs inside the cell. There is a container. And this is where his application lives inside the cell container. And this container got attached to this schema backing service using service key. Yes. Now this application is live in BTP, which gives a URL, which his users. So users are, let's say, A, B, C, they are users. They will use the URL to access his application. This is his deployed application. That is the flow which we follow to do. So the application, this is the runtime. This is the deployed application. This is the runtime. And this is the instance. That is what we did. So now if Prasad is a developer who built an application for his manager, he will now take the deployed application URL and give it to his manager. So you deploy application to BTP and you deploy schema to HANA. So your HANA cloud is here. 
your another question was hana cloud where is hana cloud so hana cloud is here it's a runtime yes hana cloud is the runtime is the runtime so this is the hana cloud on the btp it's a database running in the cloud and this whole thing is this whole thing is actually happening in america somewhere in america on virgin islands there is a there is a hardware which is which is managed by amazon in that lab in that hardware it is happening in one of the data centers of of amazon so i'll show you amazon data center photo will give you more clarity of what's going on this is the data this is where <laughs> this is where there is a there is a computer yes in this data center in america managed by amazon yeah this is the location yes this is the location this is the actual google location so somewhere there is a there is a computer here in that computer your hana db is running and in that computer your your application which you deployed is running which is connected to your hana database inside that you have servers like this so in that somewhere in one of the room in one of the racks there is one of the hardware and there is one of the hard disk there is one of the ram where this whole thing is happening yes you are doing it from here you are talking to btp and btp is is doing it in one of the racks we don't know which rack which server yeah we don't know which server which rack it is happening but this is amazon data center where it's all happening behind the scene amazing amazing all right thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anubavtrainings.com for in more interesting videos like this please like share and subscribe this channel kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future please do share this channel in the whatsapp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubavtrainings.com once again thank you so much for watching anubav signing out have a nice day and goodbye